Hello there, if you're an elite athlete trying to make a professional living out of your sport, your passion and start earning a solid income so you can fully focus on what you love, your sport, then you come to the right place. In this video, I, Victor Althor, professional speed skater, will first, I'll tell you how I managed to make a living out of my sport, even though I skate in a country where there's no ice rinks, I somehow managed to make it to the Olympic games and I'm currently training for my second Olympics. And after that, I'm gonna tell you how you can do the same, how you can start looking for sponsors and find people that wanna support you in your journey. And ultimately, I'm gonna tell you about this new brand, this new software company called Sport Endorse that help athletes and brand connect. And then ultimately, it's gonna benefit both of them. And it is surprisingly simple and surprisingly effective. They already have more than a thousand athletes connected to the platform and more than 250 brands currently looking for people like you and I to help us succeed in what we love the most. So in my specific case, I had to learn the hard way because there was no sport endorse at the time. There was no companies or this kind of crowd agencies helping you build your brand and helping you connecting with sponsors. And obviously when you spend all your time trying to be as good as a sport as you can, you don't have the time to take a marketing career or dig into how to be your own agent at the same time. So it's always gonna be a struggle unless you find people to cooperate with that can help you get your name out there and start building more of a story, more of a brand and connect you with the people that can help you pursue your goals and reach them. Um, however, I started in Slagelse in Denmark. I really started reaching out to small local companies because at that point I was no name in skating. I was no name in Denmark or anything. I really just was sure that I had the passion it took and I knew I had the mentality and the talent to make it really far but there's a long way from knowing you got what it takes to actually convincing other people to spend their money and in a lot of cases there's a big bridge there's a big gap you need to bridge from knowing you got what it takes to actually get the support that will allow you to go from this point one to the point of success at the end of it and that's what I'm gonna try and explain you in this video, how you can take it from that point to the point of success where you reach your goals. Um, start small, try and look out for local businesses. Like I said, in the beginning, you're not gonna be able to give them as much value for their money in terms of marketing, in terms of branding, PR, and so on. Instead, you gotta look for people that really care about you, care about your journey, and want to support you as an athlete. So. When you send emails out or if you reach out to them on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, if you drive by their headquarters, their office and, and literally ask them to help you and beg for help, don't try and oversell like, oh, I can do this. You can get so many views, so many new customers and so on at the beginning because they probably know that if they really want that, unless you're a big name in sports, they can just do some, some like put some money in, in Google branding and SEO and in other ways where they can get more clients, more views, and more um, more publicity out of their money. So instead, they need to be passionate about your journey. You need to convince them that this is gonna mean a whole lot to you and that this can change your career, but maybe also change other people's career, that you can be an inspiration, you can prove to other people that this can actually be done. Try and find the things that make you different. In my case, it was obviously that I was a skater in a country with no ice. That is a huge story in itself. It might sound a little unrealistic at first, but when you try and elaborate and explain that, yo, it might work because I do have the talent. I have already proven to progress really fast. Um, so all I really need is just a little bit of money and then I can go on some ice camps and really get the feel for it. And who knows, then I might be able to qualify for the Olympics. Um, so you really gotta sell the story and make them get the impression that they make a big difference because they might actually do um, like they might actually do make a big difference for you if you're really just struggling financially and trying to bridge that gap because you need the money for equipment you need it for training you need it to maybe take some days off from school from work or whatsoever in order to take that final step up to not being a professional but having the level it takes to be a full professional athlete so start small, reach out to local businesses, show that you're willing to do a lot for them um, so that you really have the mindset of giving something back because uh, that is for sure something they will appreciate. Tell them stuff like you can send them monthly newsletters, send them videos from where you go in training camps, how things are going, because then they really feel like they're part of your journey and not just throwing money at you to, for you to have fun. Um, but it goes both ways. Um, 
And once you make it a bit further than that, you should of course start developing your Instagram profile, your Facebook profile and all that so you can actually create value for these sponsors. And that all becomes a part of it when you reach a higher level that people outside your little personal bubble are actually gonna notice you're gonna be contacted by newspapers, um, TV stations and so on that are gonna create content with you and or for you. And then you actually got a product to sell to these sponsors and that's where you can start looking a bit broader you can also start like i am here working on a youtube channel it's just another bonus that you can offer to sponsors and this is where you can reach out to people that might not even know you that are not having this sense of, of being part of the journey and being so personally involved where it's more a matter of business cold business um, of course it's almost more pleasant if you if they if you feel that there's an actual connection which i strive to have with all my sponsors otherwise i don't feel like it makes sense for either either part um, but that is where you can take it to the next level where you got some value to offer and then you can start reaching out to bigger companies especially if you're in a niche which skating to a large extent is so the way i did was local sponsors in my region of denmark called slagel where i reached out to them at first and said yo would you like to help me because uh I believe I can make it far with your help. I'll give everything back. I'll tell you all that happens in my life if you want to support me just a little to try and reach my goals. And then from that point, I started reaching out to bigger companies in Denmark telling them, yo, I might have a shot at going to the Olympics, making medals at the Olympics, especially since I did go to the last Olympics. More people have faith in that. And then I reach out to larger companies in all of Denmark. And ultimately, because I started building this YouTube channel, I made more content on my own. I now reach out to international companies that are skating or sports, um, linked to skating or just linked to sports in general, because then I feel like I can give them back or give them something in return for a sponsorship. Um, and that's where I'm at now. However, this took me 10 years to figure all this out on my own. And it's been hard at times, and I will admit that it's stolen focus, stolen time, stolen energy from my skating. However, I knew I had to do it because that was the one way that I would be able to actually skate. Um, so it wasn't a nice to have, it was a need to have for a big part of this journey. First, think right from the start of building your brand because that is at the end what is going to make you interesting and that's going to be the reason they would want to support you and not just somebody else or some other sport. You need to be a product, you need to create some value and, uh, and that's what makes you attractive as an athlete. So all of this is so complicated if you were to write all this down and I just told you it took me 10 years. And that is why I just recently started this partnership with Sport Endorse. Um, Sport Endorse is, the way I would put it, is like crowd agency. Um, at first I felt like it sounded a little too good to be true. I went on a few phone calls with the, the marketing uh, manager and even the founders of the company, Sport Endorse. And and I was surprised how simple it is. It's really just, if you have what it takes, which I need to just tell everybody a disclaimer, the first thing you got, you got to do here, and it's always going to be the most important thing through your sport career, is to work hard and be good at what you want to be good at. Sport Indoors is the way to go. They have an application where you create a profile. Imagine Tinder, but just for athletes and companies interested in sponsoring and helping athletes. So you create a profile, you add things about yourself, what's your sports, your gender, your nationality, what are your skills, uh, if you've got education, if you've got any specific things that make you a little different from other athletes, which languages you speak and so on. You create that profile and then Sport Indoors is not just gonna link you to companies, they're also gonna help you build your brand, they are gonna help you with the marketing and then they're gonna link you. You can even go on there and apply yourself, you will see as of right now, there's more than 20 different companies looking for ambassadors, looking for athletes to sponsor. And you can go on there and you can just apply for the different sponsorships and everything goes through this one little application, which is impressive in itself. Um, but then it's just gonna connect you with these brands. Uh, I went on there yesterday, looked for some of them. Um, and just to give you an idea of what it is, I, I will show some screen stuff here so you can see the, um, the different amounts and different companies. These are just some examples. Um, it can be all kinds of things. And the cool thing is you can pick, you get to pick first um, and then you just apply. The companies will see that and then they're gonna select their ambassadors. And some things that are really cool is that it's, it's very legit. Um, 
you get the sensation that you actually have an agent sitting there because there's a lot of people there and they're always ready to support you if anything were to happen. There is a verification service so you know it's the legit company. If you're sitting there chat chatting with Nike, it is going to be Nike and same way around, they will know that you are Victor Holter or whatever your name is. Um, this is facial recognition so that's pretty cool. So it is very legit and you are always sure of getting your money or getting your products because everything goes through this platform where everybody's verified so they just take charge of all that and you don't have to pay them anything at first they just get a a part and which is also less than the usual 20 percent you give a manager they're just going to get that little part of, of whatever income you end up generating with the platform and then um the rest just goes to you and goes to support your sporting career. You don't have to do all the stuff that I spent years figuring out and still am figuring out. Up until now, I didn't know about Sport Endorse. It's a really new company, um, though they have uh, they've grown so much. Like I said in the beginning, there is more than a thousand athletes and 250 different companies uh, looking for athletes to sponsor. That is unreal. I uh, didn't know that was a thing. I did not know that was possible either. Um, but I do see why athletes just have certain set of skills, certain discipline, um, and they just generate some brand value because they're always gonna be good ambassadors because you unwrap, unwheel a story and not just influencer style posting pictures. So there's definitely something to athletes that um, create more value for a company and that is why there is a market for things like sports indoors. I'll put a link below of course and you can go directly onto this app and have fun with it. Create your profile, create your little sales publicity thing, and then just start reaching out to sponsors, getting those sponsorships. They're there on Sport Indoors for a reason. They need you. <laughs> so um, yeah, have fun with that. And I wish you all the best in your hopefully professional sports career to come. That's all for now. Stay tuned, more videos coming. I will try and dig deeper into this on how you can earn money. Because for a lot of athletes, um, sadly, it is a must. I mean, it's a must for everybody to earn money, but it's, it is the reason they're not at an elite, elite level is simply because it's just a financial challenge to a lot of people. But we're here to fix that and Sports Endorse is there to help you. Until next time.